Hey, 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 time for another out of this world story from our space. My wife has been screwing her bartender. I just found out that my wife of three years and partner of seven has been sneaking around behind my back. I first noticed when she was going out a lot recently and going to the same bar, one her and I do not frequent when together. There were some inconsistencies in her stories and I got suspicious and stooped to going through her phone. Well, my suspicions were correct. She was messaging with the bartender saying she missed him and she wanted to see him. So naturally, I asked her about it and she got defensive and angry at me for going through her phone. I think I caught it really early on and talked with her and want to make things work. Our next two days together were great, amazing. We loved each other. It felt like more than ever during those days. I then went to work, night shift, and she went out again. I questioned her and she got defensive, blocked me, stopped sharing location and never came home. I later found out she was with him again. I don't know to what extent, but they were together. She's always texting with him now and hiding her phone, and I found inappropriate pictures and whatnot. I still am willing to work things out. I scheduled us counseling. I sat down and had a heart to heart with her about what she wants and what she needs. She insists she wants us to work, that she loves me and is in love with me. We have stuff to work on and it's going to be hard. We had a civilized conversation that went well and thought we had a great path and plan to fix things. Then it ended with her leaving and staying at a friend's house. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm making all the effort and I feel like I'm being manipulated. She knows I'm here. What should I do? Let's see what the community thinks he should do. Cranach has some advice for him. You told her what you want. And while she said that she wants the same, her actions has proven the exact opposite. Actions speak louder than words. Even after you caught her, she went on to cheat on you. If you keep on acting like you did until now, this will only go on. You need to show her that you allow no one to treat you like that. You caught her, gave her a chance, and she made a decision that the other guy is more important to her. Listen to that. He is more important to her, more important than you and your marriage. She has made her decision. You need to make yours now, and unless she really bends backwards to show you that she has a sudden change of heart, you should not give in. Tell her that you understood her message and that you will set up a meeting with a lawyer to prepare the divorce papers. Also tell her that since it was so easy for her to lie to you, that you will go to a doctor and get tested for STDs. Let her know that you have lost all trust in her and this is not a marriage you want to be in. Then live up to your words, get tested for STDs, and serve her the papers to make her understand that you are a man of your word. Your wife then has time until the divorce is finalized to show you either that you made the exact right decision or to fight for you. Don't make the mistake to fight for her or run after her. She effed up. If she wants to keep you, then it is her that has to put up a fight. On to the next story. My pregnant fiance slept with her ex. My fiance slept with an ex. I wish I trusted my gut earlier. There were so many red flags I ignored just, but after five months of denial and her telling me I am crazy and it's all in my head, I finally had enough evidence to leave. And if it wasn't for one deleted text and an email, I would have stayed with a cheater. So I left and I have been staying with a friend for the past couple of months. After I left her state, she started telling people lies after lies to make herself look like the victim. I was toying with the idea of giving her a chance, but how do you forgive someone who won't even admit to what they did? I don't even know if the kid is mine, but I am going to get a paternity test and then go from there. She has been calling me, saying from killing herself to saying she will kill me, etc. I have notified her family about what she said of killing herself. She lied to my own family. My mom is the only person who believes me and my dad took her side and his reason was I just left a pregnant fiance with no help. But he doesn't know the sleepless nights, the anxiety, the cries and many more. I begged her to tell me the truth. I cried for days at work. I have been toying with the idea of giving her a chance if the baby is mine, but I really don't think I will ever get over this. I feel sick, angry, and sad for the baby. I was good to take care of her. In her own words, I gave her everything. I was working 14 hours or more, sometimes six days a week to make sure she was happy. I took her on dates. I honestly never cheated, even though I am not bad looking and I get looks and compliments. I wish I could say I feel better after a month but we recently started talking again and I just couldn't keep talking to her. I just blocked her from everywhere until the baby is born. I won't talk to her. And after that, I will see. I wish I could just block her and move on, but the pregnancy is the only thing keeping me talking. 
Let's get some reaction from the community. Ethan V says, demand a prenatal paternity test. It doesn't hurt the baby. They take blood from the mother. Use it as leverage before any communication can be considered with her. Send the proof to both sets of parents to clarify who is at fault here. Put an end to this utter foolishness. Be clear that your relationship with her will no longer continue after this disgusting betrayal and you will not tolerate the rumors and lies shifting blame, or you will publish proof to everyone else. Do not consider getting back with her for the baby. I have seen many people do this with 0% success rate. Trust me, the baby is better off with parents that focus on a co-parenting relationship and nothing more. How she has treated you after your discovery shows her true colors. She will always be the victim and never take responsibility and everything in life will be your fault. She does not care about you at all. She will sleep with other people whenever she feels because she knows you will eventually come back and then trash you to everyone. Do you really want to live like that? Trust me, there are millions of better women out there. Get legal advice on visitation and custody if the child is yours. Do not tolerate anyone telling you that you need to reconcile for the baby. On to the next story. My wife wants an open marriage. So I've been struggling with this throughout the week and have run a pretty wild gamut of emotions, along with some pretty unhealthy coping mechanisms that just seems to constantly restart on me and need to hear some honest advice about how I should handle this. My wife and I have been together for 12 years and together we have three wonderful adopted children that are just oozing personality and confidence. I think together we make awesome parents and I love her with all my heart. Our marriage has not always been particularly smooth. She had a cancer diagnosis soon after we got married that was hard to deal with. She passed an STD to me that she got from her previous marriage that sometimes causes me and her physical pain. She had a bout of a couple of years with alcoholism that almost destroyed us, but we stuck it out, got therapy, and we worked together as a team. Over the last few years, my own health has begun to cause problems in our sex life. I am significantly overweight and have battled my weight my entire life. I've decided to get surgery to help me make significant change in my physical well-being and have been working hard on being more active at home and at work and being careful about what I eat and how much. But another problem we've run into in our sex life is that she has become increasingly more interested in BDSM play, often bringing verbal and physical abuse. I know that to the BDSM community this type of play is not abuse, but I very simply can't think of another word for it, into the bedroom in ways that have made me uncomfortable and neither of us have been satisfied for a while. I thought she was cheating on me, but she says she has not done anything, but she wants me to allow her to explore her interest in BDSM by meeting with a dom that she found online and has been talking to. A lot of her recent activities, strenuous exercise, snapping herself with rubber bands, hitting herself hard enough to leave large bruises on her body, have been at the specific request of her dom. I don't know how to handle this. She says she thinks it will make our own relationship stronger, and to her credit, she has been more affectionate with me and the kids since this all came out. Logically, this kind of makes sense, but emotionally, I'm really struggling. My self-worth has never been particularly high to begin with, and this has sent me into a bit of a tailspin. I do not want a divorce, neither to do that to our children, nor to give up on the pretty impressively comfortable life we have built together. But I also don't want to go outside my marriage and wish I had it in me to keep her from doing the same. Can a polyamorous marriage survive with only one partner going outside the marriage for their sexual needs? Will I ever be able to like myself again? I see very few end results here. I have to go along with this for now. If I can be okay with it and she is right and our relationship improves, then great. But every other option is disaster. Has anyone been in this position before? Let's see what kind of advice the community has to offer. La Di Da 1321 says, she's already cheating by talking to this guy online and fulfilling their fantasies by self-harming. You said you both aren't satisfied in the bedroom, so you're basically at this point considering sacrificing any satisfaction for yourself for her, so she can have it all and you get what? This isn't a fair setup, and it is apparent your self-confidence is very low if you're even entertaining this idea. You will resent her if you okay this, but honestly, it kind of sounds like she's going to go ahead and do what she wants anyway. It seems like there's a lot of difficulties in the history of your relationship. At this point, you have to take care of yourself, lose the weight, Get healthy, gain some confidence, have some frank discussions with your wife about what you want. See where you are then. You can't control her, but you can definitely control yourself. And worst case, the marriage doesn't work out. You'll come out as the best version of yourself possible. The OP responds with a bit more information. 
Well, I'd get to keep the woman I love around me, just not in the way that I hoped for. She's a good person and I adore her, and she's a wonderful mom and a good friend. Also, while together we are pretty well off financially. If we were living apart, I could care for the kids easily, but I could never provide for them the way her job can. While I make 50k a year, she sometimes doubles that, and I wouldn't want to see the kids have to move to a lesser house or have a lesser life because I was too selfish to try and make this work. Another thing is that I don't have much outside my family life. When I met my wife, I kinda came in as her knight in shining armor. She was broke a lot and a single mom and was lonely and I showed up and made things better. My last relationship before her was a fiance who also cheated on me a few years before and I had just gotten past that when my friends talked me into getting back in the dating game. When we got married though, I lost contact with most of my old friends except for over Facebook. My wife threw out most of my old clothes, insisting they made me look bad. She had me cut my long hippie hair and shave my beard. My weight was pretty well under control until about 5 years ago and I ballooned. Right around the time that we had problems with her drinking. I don't know who I am without her. And I'm so afraid of being lonely and being without the one person who I think drives me to be a better person. And I don't want my kids to think that I didn't do everything I could to make it work. You're right that I need to work on myself. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just need to cut her out of my mind for a while and just become the person I like best. If I can ever actually like myself that is. Anyway, thanks for listening. 